AI music generation is a ton of fun. There aren't too many AI music generators out there thus far, but they've gone pretty far. The most notable AI music generator is probably Google's, which is known as Music LM. Google provides access to this demo, which is very limited, through their AI Test Kitchen app, which you need to get invited to, and they have a waitlist. And also, of course, like the other Google research, none of it is open source. But Meta. Facebook just released an open source music generator AI, and we can try it out today for ourselves and compare it directly with the Google model. This is very exciting. We're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into this brand new open source music generator AI and then directly compare it with Google's. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. AK here on Twitter is giving us a short but sweet rundown. Meta just released MusicGen, a simple and controllable model for music generation. MusicGen is a single-stage autoregressive transformer model trained over a 32kHz encodec tokenizer with four codebooks sampled at 50Hz. A lot of jargon there. Autoregressive transformer models are super commonplace, but they are high quality. Very good to see that. Unlike existing methods, such as MusicLM, which is Google's model we're going to compare this thing directly against, MusicGen does not require a self-supervised semantic representation. This gives it a little bit of an advantage in this regard, and it generates all four codebooks in one single pass. By introducing a small delay in between the codebooks, it can predict them all in parallel, thus having only 50 autoregressive steps per second of audio, so they're increasing the overall efficiency per step, which is a great thing to see for increasing the overall quality of your AI generations in general. You can actually try a completely free demo for this on Hugging Face. Links will, of course, be in the description. The models are also on Hugging Face, and they have a GitHub. Let's take a look at this little demo they produced. All right, we're going to start off here with text and melody conditioning. So what this is, is essentially we're taking a common melody that we already have, say a little MP3 file, and we're going to give it to the AI and then give it some text, and it's going to adjust that melody based off the text you give it. You can think about this like when we do AI image generation and we give it an input image. Very similar. This is the melody we're going to give it. Very common melody. And now the prompt is going to be an 80s driving pop song with heavy drums and synth pads in the background. Let's see what this thing can get up to. Okay, this is awesome. I'm already loving this. That is so cool. That is so awesome. So that's our second melody, and now this is the prompt we're going to combine with that melody, an energetic hip-hop music piece with synth sounds and strong bass. There is a rhythmic hi-hat pattern in the drums. Okay, yeah, this is really awesome. It's able to take that original melody there and really do something with it. That is so awesome. I mean, you could hear any melody and be like, oh, I really like certain parts of this melody, but I want to totally transform the overall sound of it. We're going to have to do some real testing today. So let's take a look at the GitHub. Like I said, this thing is entirely open source, which is really awesome. AudioCraft is what this thing is under, and AudioCraft is essentially a PyTorch library for deep learning research on audio generation. At the moment, is providing the code and models for MusicGen. And again, you can install this thing on your own machine at home as long as you have 16 gigabytes of video memory on your graphics card. NVIDIA sent me out a 4080 GPU, so I could actually run this thing on my own machine. It looks like it's pretty simple to install too, but since most of you at home aren't going to have a honking big GPU with 16 gigabytes of video memory, I'm only going to test this thing out in Hugging Face for today. But for you power users, if you want a tutorial on how to install this thing on your own machine at home, I would be happy to create that as well. So just let me know down in the comments below. They also have a Jupyter Notebook and a Google Collab Notebook. So there's a lot of places that you can use this thing. Multiple pre-trained models for this. We've got a small 300M model, text to music only, medium 1.5 billion model, text to music only. 
and then they've got a melody model. Again, 1.5 billion params, text to music, and text plus melody to music. And of course, they've got the main large 3.3 billion parameter model, which only does text to music as well. The training code is going to be released very soon. So it's not fully out there in the world yet, but it is definitely on its way. So viewers, here is the hugging face demo, the public one at least. For some reason, this specific demo is having some trouble getting users out the door. I was able to just put a prompt in, but as you can see, it's about a 230 second wait right now on Hugging Face, which is pretty long. If you want to shorten up your wait time, you can always go and try out the Google Collab Notebook, which requires a little bit more to set up. You just have to run these little code things one by one, but it might be a little bit faster than trying to run it on Hugging Face because so many people are using it at once. However, there is a workaround for Hugging Face if you still want to use the Hugging Face demo. If you have a Hugging Face account with a credit card hooked up, you can pay by the hour to duplicate this space and run it essentially with no wait time. And that's what I'll be doing for this demo, but you can use this thing for completely free. Like I said, it's open source. You can run it on your own machine. We actually did just generate audio. My uh, description was Juice World. By the way, this thing does not seem to work too well on celebrity names, but let's just take a listen to this anyways. Yeah, doesn't really sound like Juice World, but it still generated something. I'm going to start off here by directly comparing this thing to Music LM by Google, and we can already see a difference here that... Uh, really is upsetting. So I put the prompt deep heavy bongo beat in. Music Gen gave me a pretty decent result, but with Music LM, because it's all running through Google and it's not open source, we have, oops, you're not allowed to generate that. Why aren't we allowed to generate that? Well, because apparently the prompt deep heavy bongo beat is just too crude. It's too rude for us uh, to be allowed to generate it with Music LM. Again, this horrible nannying that goes on with a lot of this AI technology is super annoying sometimes. It, it Obviously, we can't allow you to generate everything, especially copyrighted stuff, because there's legal issues that come with that. But really deep, heavy bongo beat? What's wrong with that, Google? Not sure. Automatic fail for Google on this end. And Music Gen by Facebook Research actually gave us a pretty good little result. Let's take a listen. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm grooving with that. Good job, Music Gen. Google couldn't even give me a result. Well, let's go ahead and try to uh, modify this. We'll just say bongo beat and uh, we'll see. I will say though, after I submit, Google generates stuff a lot quicker than Music Gen. It takes about a minute to generate something here inside of Hugging Face. It might be faster on your own machine. Let's go ahead and take a listen to Google's results here for bongo beat. Overall, that was a pretty decent bongo beat. It was a little bit random, a little bit splattery. Definitely more of a beat. Okay. Had a little bass drop in there and like a rattlesnake appeared like halfway through. What's up with that Facebook? And then quite the bass drop, quite the bass drop. All right, obviously Music LM definitely won on that front. However, you know, I am using the small model here with Music Gen, so maybe we'll get a better bongo beat if we upgrade to medium. Let's submit that. Of course, it's going to take longer to generate this. All right, that was quite a lot longer. That was about 85 seconds to generate this piece. A lot better though. So yes, as we increase the size of the model and the quality of the model, things definitely go up. Let's try the extremely large model here and see if we get an even better result. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention viewers that we actually do have some 
changeable settings here. Of course, we can actually set the duration all the way up to 30 seconds, which is awesome. Again, something that we don't really have with the music LM demo from Google. We've got top K, top P temperature and classifier free guidance as well. So we actually have some settings to mess with to see if we get better results if we change them. Super interesting. Maybe some of you viewers at home are going to figure out ways to make this thing generate music a lot better for certain prompts just by having certain setting adjustments. You'll have to let me know and share your results in my Discord server, which is always linked in the description of every one of my videos. How much better is this in comparison to the other two models? Gotta say, it was well worth the wait. That was fantastic in comparison to the other two. Remember, this is what Google produced. It's all right. Not really a bongo beat. This is a bongo beat. I am blown away by that quality. We're reaching some high fidelity now with this. I mean, the large model takes forever to generate, but guys, you gotta try it out a few times because it produces some really, really great results. Now, our next prompt here is going to be guitar solo. Definitely something that represents a guitar solo from Music LM, but I would say, again, it's very splattered, it's very random, there's not a lot of coherency and flow to the overall guitar solo, it just kind of sounds like random plucking and like some melodic stuff to... Gosh, that was horrible. All right, you can do better. You can do better. All right, let's go ahead and take a listen to what the large model from Music Gen made. Oh god, it's the demon noises. Come on! Music Gen, what happened? You just made a fantastic bongo beat. And now we get this? Demon sounds? Oh, I'm horribly disappointed by that. Well, maybe maybe the large model isn't great in every single circumstance. Or we could have just got unlucky with the generation. Here, how about we try another one? This time we'll just do like a five second really quick generation. <laughs> Apparently this thing has no ability to generate a guitar solo. I mean, neither does Music LM, but it did a better job objectively. At least Music Gen's open source. All right, now we're gonna try a lo-fi slow BPM electro chill with organic samples. We're gonna go ahead and put the same exact prompts into Music LM. Yeah, I like Music LM's result. I think that was pretty good. By the way, Music LM also always generates two tracks, so that's how much faster it's able to generate stuff, but maybe it's just because we have these magic Google servers and hardware. Let's take a listen to the second track from Music LM, and then we'll go ahead and take a listen to Music Gen. This one's worse. Not much to hear with that. Disappointing from Music LM. Let's take a listen to Music Gen. Yeah, I mean, that is just objectively better than either of the Music LM results. Not 
nice, slow, lo-fi beat, very relaxing, very consistent. You can actually see it in the audio results from the graph. All right, for our next trick, we're gonna try Sad Piano, Emotion of Doom Evoked. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of Music LM for this one. Sad, definitely piano. Do me, I guess. That one was a little bit better, I think. I like the way that the bass came in there to start a beat. I don't know why it fades out though. Let's take a listen. Yeah, objectively, I I like the Music Gen one way, way more. That was really, really good. It was more of a piano solo. I didn't ask for the beats that Music LM provided. It was hallucinating those for me. And I guess, you know, that could be the interpretation of the emotion of doom. But this did a way better job at coherently capturing that, I think. I mean, that was really, really quite good. That sounded like something almost out of Skyrim or like a really sad... Christmas movie? I don't know why that, that comes to my mind, but it almost sounds like a Christmassy piano in there, but it's still very Doom-like, which is like contrasting emotions. Either way, this did a really, really great job. This is almost flawless. If you hear any of those cuts, for some reason, that's like hugging face, not really um, spitting out the audio correctly. It's all conformed and uniform. If I download this, for example, and we actually play it back... There's no cuts to the audio. This one's exciting. 16-bit video game boss battle. Whoops. 16-bit video game boss battle theme. I think that both of Music LM's results were pretty decent, but again, there's that issue of splattering where it's not able to keep like a consistent melody the whole time. It kind of like does something for, you know, five, six seconds, and then it switches up to another thing, and then it switches up to another thing where Music Gen seems to be a little bit more consistent when it gets it right. We had that really horrible result with the guitar solo, uh, but the other two results were really good. Let's see what we get from this one. good that was that was impressive let's go back to the sad piano one and i'm gonna do a 30 second one of those and see if it's able to stay consistent with that sad piano I think the piano and the melody of that song was a little bit worse, but it was super consistent across the entire 30 seconds. 
which is something that we cannot say at all about Music LM. So really, really great job uh, to Meta on actually developing, at least with the large model, something that is consistent. I'm going to quickly test and see what the small model does with 30 seconds and if it can remain as consistent as the large one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That is definitely impressive considering how much smaller the small model is for Music Gen. Also, consistent across the entire 30 seconds. That's something we don't see at all with Music LM. Even if there's some higher fidelity stuff going on with Music LM, it, it switches up the beat, it switches up the tempo, it switches everything up every like 6 to 10 seconds, and that just does not happen. No matter what model you're picking with Music Gen, and I think that is definitely extremely important. So, the fact that we're actually getting higher quality music generation in most cases with music gen, and not only that, it's open source, which means you can run it on your own machine, you're not locked in terms of what prompts you can run, that is really phenomenal. Plus, viewers, we're getting a really nice bonus feature, which is the melody condition, where we can drop a melody in here, and it's going to try to add the text onto the melody. All right, first up, I got the entire SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. I have no idea if this is going to work, especially because it's so dang long. And we'll do the 80s driving pop song with heavy drums and synth pads in the background for this one. We'll submit it. Oh, gosh. The, the 536 second wait. Oh, no. What did I get myself into? It looks like if you upload long melodies, it, it takes a long time. I mean, the prompt worked really well. I don't know if the melody of the SpongeBob theme song was truly captured. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try the outro song. And we'll try it with the same exact prompt as well. You can hear it. It's not it's not really in there a whole lot, but it's definitely there somewhat. You can tell. Very simple melody, it's super short. You could hear it in the beginning a little bit. It seems like the melody one, it's like you gotta have the right length for the melody, and it's gotta be a very clear-cut melody. It can't have extra instruments running around in the background. Honestly, viewers, either way, this thing is an absolute slam dunk. It has more features, it's completely open source. Music LM does not stand a chance to this thing. Even though it takes longer to generate, you know, everyone's going to have access to this thing. Anyone can modify it and change it up and edit it in certain ways. It's going to be a really great base platform to start creating music with AI. So I'm pretty impressed. Good job to Meta's uh, AI division. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys create anything awesome with this because I would love to see it on my Discord server. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.